What is... I don't get what that was! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Crash Team Rumble. Uh, we have a lot to cover today. There are three events going on, and this is the last big new event uh, coming to Season 3. We have the next arena uh, that's been officially released. It is called the Summer Forest. And with that, there's also a little event going on where you can collect silver dragon statues. I don't know if you guys remember uh, from... Uh, I think it was from the Allura event or one of the other events before. Uh, we were randomly getting silver dragon statues. And uh, I remember myself uh, in one of my older videos... Uh, I was wondering why are there dragon statues to collect if there's nothing to get rewarded for. Turns out it was for this event, for the release of the Summer Forest. And there is also a new party mode game uh, out as well, but they're, they're not advertising it on this little bulletin board here, which su uh, surprises me. It is called Forest Run. I'm, uh, I'm hoping that it's released. I... I double-checked, and it said it, it is coming out today, so I'll, I'll have to take a look. And also, with the uh, party mode, the new party mode game comes to the Tokens of Annihilation event. And if you earn Tokeneer badges, you get Battle Pass XP, and uh, we got some easy rewards. Earn the top Tokeneer badge for a banner, defeat any boss for a hat. Uh, plain and simple. So... First things first, I'm gonna do what I know is here, is and that is uh, trying to find the Summer Forest map for you guys. I'm looking forward to trying this one out, in case you didn't see my community post. Uh, I had a thought, because they were advertising uh, money bags with his face by the map. I'm wondering if he's gonna make an appearance somehow. Uh, in this uh, new map, is he going to be one of the relic station abilities? Like, is he going to... I'm going to take a guess, actually, right now, and say he will be one of the relic abilities. Uh, he'll be the super ability where he steals everyone's Wumpa Fruit, and you have to go hit him to get the Wumpa Fruit back. It's kind of like the Wumpa Bad ability, but kind of like... You have to hit him in order to, uh, to get Wumpa Fruit for yourself. If that makes sense, we unfortunately didn't get the new map right away. Uh, we never do, but I'll cut ahead, of course. I'll show you guys the new map, and I'll share my thoughts as we go. All right, here we go. Here is the new map, the Summer Forest. Uh, Moneybags does make an appearance. Steal a sack of gems from Moneybags. Elemental orbs. Collect elemental orbs to harness their powers. Enchanted towers. Bring the tower to life to fire arrows at nearby enemies. Oh, it's kind of like the, uh, the Tiki Tower ability at the, that, um, that other map. I'm drawing a blank, of course, at the worst time, but that's right. So, are the elemental orbs the big, uh, relic station ability, or is it money bags? Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, wow, this map's huge! Okay, uh, where should I go? Let's, uh... Oh, they have that boost, um, thing. From the Spyro games. Wow. Alright, it's not what I expected. It actually launches you forward. I thought it would be a speed boost. It's kind of like Artisan's Arena already. You destroy the, uh, the chests and the vases to get your, uh, Wumpa Fruit. They have these little portal things. I remember those. Egg thief returns. <gasps> the egg thief! No way! Hang on. What happens if I get him? Oh, it's an extra 100... Uh, Wumpa fruit. Or gems. Okay. Oh, there is a speed boost you can get as well. Wait, where do I score? Oh, I score over here. Of course, the Dingo Dallas in the way. Uh, what should I do? Okay. You gotta pick your fights, and that's not one to pick right now. Especially while you have this bonus. Um, 
I don't know what to do. What are the relic stations? That's what I should do. Let's activate one of the relics. Uh, money bags is there. Interesting. I have to. I have to activate it. I have to see what happens. I'm so ex. <laughs> I'm. I'm like so excited and antsy at the same time. Let's go over here. What do you do, money bags? Did you give me? I think you added to the bag. Oh wait, let me score now while I have the chance. What is this? Oh, so it's kind of like the Wumpa Fruit. That, like, special golden Wumpa Fruit. But it's with the uh, money bag. Okay. So you gotta let it fill up and then you can get your bonus that way. You can hear all the gems and money stacking up. I'm sure it's music to money bags' his ears. Um. I think there's another glitch, too, uh, by the way. We were supposed to be getting silver dragon statues to collect, but we're getting the winter pastries and cookies event again. Uh, oh. Alright, so there's the tower ability in action. It's pretty cool. Wait, let's see this before the game ends. We're gonna lose. I mean, it doesn't help with people like me getting so distracted, but let's see the elemental orbs uh, power up. Quickly. What is... I don't get what that was! <laughs> was that like an extra boost to my attack? I, I don't know. Well, And now we'll never know, because the match ended. <laughs> oh, crap. I kind of want to see one more time, but then again, I might not get as lucky, and I won't be able to activate the elemental orbs. Um... I might circle back to playing another match at the end of the video. I also want to show you guys the new party mode game. Wow, Crystal Spyro. A Crystal Spyro skin. A Phantom of the Badlands skin for Ripto as well. Oh, uh, I think if I activated that uh, tower power-up... Uh, that would have gotten me the other Alora skin. Alright. I'll have to try again at the end of the video. Let's move on to party mode. Let's see if we can find that new game mode. And uh, hopefully I can show you guys the boss battle for that as well. I got lucky with what's juicing. Uh, being able to show you that boss battle. So I'm crossing my fingers that my team can... Uh, my team and I will be able to show you guys. A few moments later... No way. Complete luck of the draw. First match will will be the new game mode, Forest Run. Alright. There's a lot it looks like there's a lot of running and jumping though. Woods I think Spyro would be best. It's not like I have a choice. I was too late. Do we get to see a preview of the boss by any chance? A little teaser? Rush over the speed pads. Stay close to your teammates to go faster. Oh, so it's like speed run, but a spiral version of it. Alright. I'm up for it. Where are we going, though? Alright, we're just hopping right in. Oh, that's it. That's one lack completed. Okay. Round one's not as bad as I expected. But then again, it is round one. It's I'm sure it's going to get more difficult somehow.
Good work, team. Doing just fine as we get closer to 100. There we go. Oh, it was almost a five-star performance. Hanging in there with the rest of uh, my party here. Alright, it looks like we're going up a little higher. Nice view of the uh, little spiral universe over here. Oh yeah, Spyro is without a doubt the best character for this, uh, for this new game mode. Oh, wait, there is a Silver Dragon statue. Got it. I was a little worried about the uh, possible glitch, but it looks like they fixed it, at least for party mode. Make sure we get that. We have to see the boss battle, most importantly. Why? We're slowing down a lot. Did someone quit the match? That has me worried now. I'm glad they're being extra generous with the, uh, the clocks. Especially if someone did leave. They made that necessary change with speedrun. One more. I think someone did leave. Oh no. Everyone was still here. Never mind. It, we, we just. We oddly slowed down with uh, running through those little boosts. Oh, crap. I thought I ran past it. Uh... Oh, alright. I wasn't expecting the course to be so short still. Uh... Uh, okay. We could use another clock. I mean, we're almost to a hundred, but still. Better safe than sorry. Oh crap, I almost ran into the boxes. There we go, perfect. One more. Alright, wave three is done. I think this is the boss token round. I, we have to collect them all. I, I hope I can find them. Launcher leap. Oh, are we using those things to launch us? Oh yeah, we are. Come on, Sparrow. Uh, okay, good. Alora got that. Good teamwork. Uh, where are the other two tokens? Oh, there's one more token left. Wherever it is. Oh wait, I see it. Oh, they got it. Good. Good work, team. Doing the work for me. <laughs> Come on, now we gotta complete this. We can just take a nice glide. I hope I didn't fly over a clock. Uh, gotta get this one. There we go! We get to see the boss! Good! Oh, alright. Now that that worrying is done, let's see what this boss even is. Bob. Who the heck is Bob? Why don't I remember you? Oh. 
Wait, what were those flames for? Oh, I get it. Alright, it's kind of like Uka Uka, but with Bob the Genie here. He does fight back. His attack splits into threes. I have no clue which Spyro game Bob was in, but that's alright. It's nice to meet you either way, Bob. Uh... Oh, crap. Hang on, Bob. Stay right there. Oh, I'm getting worried. We sort of slowed down with our attacking. Oh, Bob. How did that not hit me? Your attack goes through these things, too, on top of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where are the clocks, Bob? Can you tell me where those are? Come on. Let's go, Bob. Let's go, Bob. <gasps> oh, the clock was right there, and... Okay. <sighs> Thank goodness. My team did so well. Well done. <sighs> and there you have it. So, it's a... Uh... Forced Run is basically the sequel to Speed Run, and the boss battle's very similar to Uka Uka. Oh, we got a new banner, Wild Ride. And we got the hat, too, because we beat the boss. The Nork Sentry hat. Okay. I'll take a look at that. Uh, I want to try, like I said, I want to play one more uh, Forced match and competitive. So we can see that... Uh, that super relic ability in action. I, I collected one of the orbs, but I, it did nothing. I, I, I have to learn. Okay, so I didn't have any luck trying to get an actual human match of Summer Force, so I'm currently playing a uh, practice match with bots. But that does give us a little bit of extra time to uh, take a little more of a detailed look at uh, the Summer Force map. Uh, for example, I did not see this before, but there is a little... Uh, inside area where not only can you get more gems and Wumpa fruit and such There's one of these uh, dragons that you rescue from uh, All of the spiral games. I I don't know if Enemy team super I, I don't know if it's like a specific name I don't or or not, but either way. I thought it was cool and Before this match ends Let's quickly take a look at the elemental orbs I, you guys missed my first reaction, but that was my fault. I, I screwed up. So, collecting the green orb will make you supersized. Collecting the red orb will give you this special fireball attack. And collecting the blue orb will give you, uh, not only will it make you move quicker, but you'll also get a uh, electrified field uh, protecting you. I'm, I'm, I'm a little annoyed that I screwed up my first reaction uh, to this initially, but it, it is what it is. It's my fault. And with that, that is going to do it for today's episode. Uh, this, Like I said before, this is the last big event for Season 3, so going forward, it's going to be events that we've done before, like Wumpa Whale and other game modes. So, uh, with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time for another episode of Crash Team Rumble. I was hoping I could finish this match before my outro, but it's not looking like it. Actually, you know what? Hang on. For those that want to stick around, I think I can finish this real quick. There we go. We'll do this. I wonder if this counts towards the challenge if I activate this. Let me take a quick look. Uh, oh no, it doesn't count. Never mind. My question was answered. Uh, have a good one, guys.